but do you run into uh, patients with leaky gut? Oh, it's, I assume everyone that I see has a leaky gut. Um, you know, I think uh, Alessio Fasano, I just wrote another paper on uh, all disease begins with leaky gut. Uh, that uh, certainly autoimmune conditions, uh, that's one of the first steps is that increased intestinal permeability, uh, that leaky gut, which lets proteins get into your bloodstream before they were fully digested. And so that's how we can begin to get um, uh, food sensitivities to these proteins that, that if we had a healthy gut would be completely digested before down through um, amino acids before they get into our bloodstream. They enter our bloodstream without being digested. My immune cells will say, oh, wait a minute, that, you're too big. You must not be uh, a, a normal uh, compound that I should see in the bloodstream so they'll begin to react, start making antibodies. They'll start activating the innate immune cells, uh, have these inflammatory cytokines, which lead to um, achiness, fatigue, headache. Uh, you can have um, mental health issues with anxiety, uh, depression, uh, lack of focus. And all of that begins really with the leaky gut. And that can begin with a terrible diet, lots of sugar, uh, antibiotics, uh, aspirin, alcohol. So there are a lot of reasons why we could start down that path. 